regards, uh, how to structure a successful long-term relationship with a partner. Um, not just our experience, but this is what I hear from other corporates too who are quite uh, active with not-for-profit partnerships, is that the key ingredient really comes down to communication. Regular contact, regular communication, review meetings, sitting down and just asking you know, very casual questions about how is this partnership working for you? Uh, is there anything more that we can do for you? Just having really good open uh, discussions about uh, the same way you would with any relationship, whether it's a client and supplier relationship, whether it's a personal relationship, marriage or whatever, I think communication is the essence. And, um, and just each uh, seeking to um, create the best possible outcomes for each other. And I guess what we were looking for to some degree is um, some reciprocity. So we weren't just trying to give away money or give away our technology or give away some management time on a pro bono basis or whatever. Um, if, if it didn't feel that they were the things that were really needed by that organisation. Uh, and equally, um, we didn't just simply want to be associated with a, a very good brand in the not-for-profit or NGO um, sector. Um, it, it, really, it really had to make sense to us, I guess. And from, in terms of the environment and the work that Landcare does in the environment, um, it, it made absolute sense to us. Um, uh, I, I would say there aren't too many people these days that don't have concerns about the environment, not only for themselves, but for future generations as well. So it's something that our staff are really quite passionately engaged with. And so, again, from a fit perspective, it's, it's, it just really worked for us. Yeah, well, I guess one of the reasons we really love our land care Australia partnership is that it does provide us with opportunities that some of the other partnerships we have don't and that's specifically around volunteering. So Landcare Australia I think are a highly professional organisation and that works very well for us because each sector in society is different. So government is different to corporate which is different to tertiary education which is different to not-for-profit or NGO and it attracts different people and, and we have different agendas, I guess, as well. So sometimes when you move from one to the other, um, you can find a few rough edges. You know, I can find myself getting a bit frustrated when I'm dealing with government or whatever it might be, because uh, I'm from the corporate sector. But I find with Landcare, it's very, very seamless, actually, because it is a very professional organisation, almost run in, in, in a corporate way. And I don't mean that in terms of lacking in compassion or lacking in heart or any of the other things that the not-for-profit sector might be um, stronger in than corporate but it's just it's, it's just a very professional organization and I, and, and I think Landcare have done um, something very very clever in a way um, which is they're able to engage with the corporate sector with these volunteering programs where we all go out together um, we, we leave our title you know at the door sort of thing when we step onto that um, uh, that bush regeneration project or whatever and um, uh, and you know I go out there as well and I kind of you know put on the t-shirt and the shorts and start pulling out non-native weeds and things of that nature um, and at the end of the day we all sort of you know we're all pretty tired and we just kick back and and feel proud about what we achieved and um, and the volunteering aspect I think is one of the um, uh, more unique aspects of um, uh, that land care can offer a call. some big contracts where people have said you know at the end of the day um, we weighed up all the different proposals from yourself and your competitors and we couldn't see a huge difference pricing was similar products appeared to us to be similar but what we liked about you was that during your presentation you actually stopped speaking about yourself at one point and you started speaking about society about the community about the partnerships that you have and, uh, and they're the sort of, that, that, that approach of course with our values as well. Uh, and at the end of the day, that was a significant factor in us choosing you as our, our new supplier. And I have people stop me regularly, and I mean weekly, 
be it in the lunchroom or the corridor or the car park or whatever it might be, um, and say to me, I feel really proud to work for Konica Minolta. Um, I even had somebody say to me once that for 25 years I never told anybody really where I worked. Um, it just didn't seem particularly relevant. I just you know, came in and did a good day's work for a good day's pay and that's how I supported my family. Um, but now I tell everybody I work for Konica Minolta because I feel so proud to work for an organisation that would care about others in society. And um, so that person had moved from being uh, an employee for a long period of time to a truly engaged employee or team member and actually to the point of becoming an advocate and singing the praises of our company. It's great for recruitment, it's great for retention, it's great for staff engagement and building a sense of team in the organisation. It's highly regarded by people making purchasing decisions, be they business or consumers, and it's reached the point now, I think, where there's a degree of expectation. So if, for instance, you were one of the big four banks and your, your three competitors all had very strong CSR or community engagement programs, and you didn't, I think your, your, your share price would suffer, I think customers would leave you, I don't think people would be falling over themselves to start banking with you or whatever. Um, I, I think you would be regarded quite poorly. So society's standards now, I think, that they, they expect uh, corporations to be making some sort of a contribution back, back to the community at large, the, the well from which they draw their profits, if you like. And, uh, and I think we're just going to see more and more corporate and not-for-profit partnerships being formed. Mm -hmm.